How much should I charge as a hypnotherapist or consulting hypnotist? Well, new hypnotists and even sometimes experienced hypnotists are often asking how much how should much, I yeah. be charging my clients? So what right. are some thoughts on this? Well, like? think about it. If, if you come in too low in the early days, and I've seen this many times with our students, you come in too low, you'll come across as the low quality provider, the bargain basement guy. 25 or, bucks, Mike. Yeah, 25 that's bucks. not a good thing. Yeah. You'll seem amateurish. But if you come in too high with the price that you want, you'll be out of reach from possible clients who become aware of you, mm -hmm. and it will stop you getting the experience because you won't see a lot of clients. Yeah, I would say, you know, if you're going to charge 25 bucks a session or 50 bucks a session, you're probably going to seem amateurishly low. And I was actually watching a video from our friend Steve G. Jones, Excellent. who talked about this, like, well... If you charge 50 bucks and somebody important calls you, you're just gonna seem amateurish and yeah, not serious yeah. at all. But uh, contrast that with the average person who needs help quitting smoking or something, and you say, it's 2,000 bucks a session. You're pricing yourself pretty much out of the market and you'll never even get your start. Right. So I would suggest you pick a starting point, check the market, start somewhere close to what the market represents. And as a tip, make sure that you have solid training because so many hypnotists actually have poor training. And if you know that you're at least better than the, the most, average yeah, yeah. out there, then you can price as per the market or slightly higher, right? So start right. with that in mind. Right, and I think another tip is decide in advance what your rate is. Mm -hmm. Now, um, don't discount it unless you're just dismissing the fee entirely. When I was a therapist, I charged a lot mm -hmm. of money to see me. It was hard to get in to see me. And people would say, well, you know, I'll pay you extra if you'll do it. i say, no, my fee is always the same, mm -hmm. except when I drop it all together, which yeah. I got from Sherlock Holmes. It works. Never discount. Oh, I'll give you a deal because you're, you're no. undervaluing yourself by doing a discount. This isn't a used car lot. Yeah. And also, if you decide to do a freebie for someone because they really need your help or whatever reason, that's a totally different thing. And that's permissible. Mm -hmm. That's not reducing your value. We've both done these two things. Yes, 100%. I think it makes a lot of sense to have a situation where you have a fixed fee, this is what you charge, or a, a fee schedule of some sort, right? or you drop it entirely, never discount. That is just a really wonderful thing to keep in mind. Another tip is to plan to raise your rates over time. I would say establish yourself first, and then just raise your prices oh, yeah, in yeah. increments. You never want to start too high and have to back no, off. That's that pretty looks, bad. That yeah. looks weak. So when, when should you raise your rates? Well, I'll suggest raise your rates as soon as you become very very comfortable selling sessions at your current rate. Yeah, that's nice. And by raising it incrementally, I'm saying if you're charging something mm -hmm. like 200 bucks and you're doing really well and you say, okay, it might be time to take it up to maybe 250, mm -hmm. don't jump up to 500. Exactly. Another tip would be to consider offering packages rather than just single sessions. Now, mm -hmm. there are times when a single session makes sense. Obviously, yeah, a phobia. yeah or a smoking cessation. Like I don't know anyone who actually does multiple sessions for smoking. Well, the implication is though it didn't work the first right. time. Yeah. It's, it's going to work or it's not going to work because usually the client's not at the threshold, but it should be, that should be a one and done thing. Whereas something like, let's say, weight loss, we always teach it as a four session mm -hmm. situation, but you can do whatever you want. It should be multiple sessions for something like weight loss that has multiple contributing factors to mm -hmm. it. But there's also things like, I mean, Mike, if somebody came in and wanted a radical transformation on their right. social comfort in say workplace and so, not social comfort, what I mean, if somebody wanted to increase their confidence in workplace and social situations, they just overwhelmingly- oh, that, that could be five or 10 sessions. For sure. You could sell that as a package mm -hmm. in advance, definitely. So you want to be thinking about how can you serve the client best, give them good value, but not necessarily underpriced for just one session or keep having to repeat the sales process over and over for something that you know is gonna take multiple sessions. So that's, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, when should people raise their rates when it comes to perhaps uh, wanting to work less? Well, yeah, I, I, re I raised my rates when I started getting too many clients mm -hmm. and I didn't want to be super busy seeing clients because I really put everything into it and it can be exhausting. So when you're seeing a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients 
and you're starting to feel a bit overwhelmed, that's a good time to raise mm -hmm. your rates because it will not only turn things back a bit, so you won't get quite as many, it will make up for it with mm -hmm. the raise, and you'll make sure by doing that that you're getting people who are at threshold and are totally committed to being there. 100%, and on top of that, let's say you're, I'm not suggesting that you're, oh, you don't want to work very much, you don't want to see clients anymore, no, no. you're lazy. Maybe you have other areas in your business that you want to expand. Maybe you want to create courses or teach classes or do group work. Sure. Well, that by nature is going to take up part of your time. So you'll have fewer hours dedicated to one-on-one -on -one client work, which might mean you raise your prices because the law of supply and demand in economics, if you raise prices, you're generally going to see a decrease in demand. And there is going to be an optimal price point where you'll actually maximize your profitability. It wouldn't make sense, for example, to only charge $10 a session, and then everyone's beating a path to your door, but you only have a fixed number of hours. Right. Contrast that with, I charge $5,000. Now you have zero clients, so you make $0. <laughs> right. There's an optimal somewhere in the middle. And you find that through yeah. experimentation. And if you and reduce the number of hours that are available to client work, then naturally you should raise your price such that your client demand drops. Right, right. And then you'll be very happy, and so will your clients. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Um, important concept here is whatever you charge, you have to be congruent and you oh, must yeah, yeah. believe You've got to believe it with all your heart. heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you deliver value worth at least 10 times what you're charging. If you have that in your mind that you, this is going to help them, you're, you're congruent about it, you know it has high value, you're selling yourself on this first so you believe it. And yeah. then selling the sessions to clients will become completely natural. You're not going to be saying, Oh, I, I think I should charge you um, $300. That's, really that's a really good point you raise because if you are congruently believing this yourself first, that you are worth it, you're worth way more than what you're charging, you're going to have no problem selling. Convincing you're not even going to yeah. be selling. You're just going to be explaining what is this worth to you? Okay, what's your life going to be like once you overcome this problem or once you have this new skill? That's going to be very, very natural. So believe what you are charging is underpriced by a factor of 10. You have right. to convince yourself of that and then you're all set. So uh, let's wrap up this video. Quick call to action here is if you need help with your hypnosis business, reach out to us. We did create a company called Pickthos, Pickthos. which is a made up word, yeah, we like but it's it. awesome. We love it. And we help hypnotists with implementing websites and automated systems and things like that to get more clients. So P-Y-K-T-H-O-S. You'll find a link in the description dot com pickthos.com and as and far as hypnosis training mm -hmm. we still of course focus most of our time on running the mike mandel hypnosis academy and it's free to get started and you'll find a link in the description under this video as well and while we're here since this is on youtube ring that invite sucker, you to Chris. subscribe to our channel and then once that happens you get a bell that you can ring so you can smash Thanks. that subscribe Fantastic. button, ring that bell. You'll always be notified of our latest videos. I'm Chris Thompson. I'm Mike Mandel. And we run the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. That's right. And we'll see you in the next video. So thanks again. And good night.